I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Okay, back in the basement, and this time I'm hoping to pretty much wrap up my big game project. I was just waiting for the nylon washers that fit under the flippers to space them off the play field. My complete flipper kits did not come with them, but they come with the Marco rebuild kits. So I ordered a couple different sizes from Marco. That does not look like the same size. These also do not look like the same size, but maybe there's supposed to be four in here. Yeah, there is. Maybe I can make those work. I also, since I was placing an order, I grabbed some more spiral nails because I am missing some. So I can fill in the holes and then That'll look better. Uh, so I think, yeah, it's about four on each. I'm not going to do the top two holes up there. That doesn't really need it. That nail doesn't look like it's in very good, does it? I'm going to have to whack at that one a little better. Unless it just kind of wiggled its way out. Because it's loose. But no. Oh, yes it is. Okay, so... Might need to stick a toothpick in there to beef that up a little bit. These guys seem good. Yeah, okay, so, oh, look at this. Just found the ball. That's a stucky ball. Okay, so I'm going to put in the washers. I'm going to adjust my all of my end-of-stroke switches and secondary switches then try and play this thing. Also, I did install the rail that Kevin made me. It was pretty straightforward. Just popped it in, glued it, some wood glue. Could have afforded to push that side down a little bit more, but the old post was broken off in there, so I tried to bash it down and it just wasn't really happening. So in hindsight, I could have trimmed a tiny bit of that leg off to lower it, but oh well, we'll see how it plays. If it turns out to be a pain in the butt with some major flipper hop or something then I can correct that so I also grabbed a few more greens and see if I can for the third time attempt to touch up that spot there other than that uh, well I did order spinner decals I don't really want to put decals on a good original spinner but if the decal isn't the exact same green, then it might look funny. So we'll see what happens when I get those. Uh, those are coming from Germany, I think. So it might be a little bit. But that's the plan for big game today. So we'll see what I can uh, get going here. I'm hoping my wiring is all correct. The shafts are not tightened, but the left flippers, they look like they want to move a little bit. The right flippers, nothing. So I'm just hoping, oh wait, there's a little baby movement. So uh, I just gotta tighten the shafts, adjust, do the switches and should be in business. Okay, got all the side rail nails installed. Heads are a little smaller on these guys, but that's fine. Looks good to me. Very happy with this powder coating and this color choice. I think it looks great. And yeah, so for the extra like 50 cents while placing that order, it was well worth it to add these guys on and finish that task. All right, time for flipper washers. Okay, so here's the flipper without the washer. You can hear it dragging there. And then throw in the washer to the equation and add it smooth. So 
these washers are going to work after all. And yeah, that should be good. Always so many adjustments with these flippers, I tell you. This one is being a little funky, and I figured out why. The switch blade is touching the crank, and then on the way down, it's catching it, and then making it a fun little noise. So, we can't have that. So I just gotta loosen the switch stack and push it a little more towards the base plate. Okay, that should be better, let's see. Yeah, got a good amount of clearance there. Okay, now to align all the flippers. Okay, I think I got these aligned the way I want them. I haven't tightened them down yet very much, but that looks pretty good. And my fingers aren't long enough, or are they, to try these two with one hand. All right, I gotta tighten these up and hope they uh, stay in their spot. Okay, it, it really ain't going well. The problem I'm running into is that there's not enough length on the flipper shaft for me to really get any up and down play, which you kind of need. So it's a little bit draggy because you need that up and down plate. So I either have to pull the flipper vats up a little bit, which would pretty much bring them, and I'll try and show you with one hand. See, I could bring them in a little bit more, but it's getting a little close. So maybe I'll try that. If not, I'm gonna just end up probably removing the washers and hope that uh, I can tighten the shaft just a little bit up higher off the play field and that will be enough so kind of back to the drawing board a bit here okay I've removed the washers from the lower flippers and I've got a little bit of up and down movement about the same on both sides I removed the pins here because I don't really like them and I don't really need them and I've got my alignment pretty darn good and doesn't feel draggy at all, so pretty stoked about the lower flippers. And uh, as long as I tighten them down well enough, hopefully they don't travel on me. Now, time to uh, almost get away with, well, no, I don't have that up-down play. Yeah, I'll just remove those washers too, and then, uh, yeah, report back. Okay, washers removed from the upper flippers. I've got my little bit of play, about the same on both. Tighten them down, cranked on them. And in terms of symmetry, they are pretty damn good. I think the right one might be up just a smidge, but I can live with that. That looks good overall. Now I'm gonna just deal with this. <gasps> rail here that I installed because oh so with some ball hop oh what the hell was that that was a ball plop well it looks like the way I have it the hop ain't so bad that's a little more hoppy but if I hold this up if I push this rail up a little bit see if I can show you this it's a little smoother, so if I bend that forward. So I'm gonna mess with uh, some ball hoppage, put my plastics back on, and then I've gotta adjust all the switches. Okay, I think these are all adjusted to my liking. That opens up a little early, but that's okay. It'll just cut the high power a little sooner and won't be uh, as hard of a shot. Won't destroy my new everything. Well, I guess it probably wouldn't. I don't have new drop targets. 
probably destroy the old drop targets though, but not the new plastics. But that should work. So, uh, what is next? Um, maybe touching up the green paint and then testing to see if my wiring is actually correct for these flippers. Okay, I think we have a winner. It's dollar store green. Uh, what is it called? Christmas green. It is going on pretty darn close, better than any color matching I have attempted. I just stole Jamie's hair dryer and she's got another one, so I get to keep this one downstairs now, which is pretty sweet. But here is what it's looking like. Let's dry this up. It's gonna need a couple coats. So that's not looking too bad. Through the camera, it kind of looks a lot more off, but I'll dry this up, put in a coat or two, and then we'll have another look. But I can totally live with that. All right, here goes nothing. I have no idea if these flippers work. So we're gonna find out live. Okay. Sound is working still. I haven't had any issues with that again yet. All right. Let's plunge the ball and use the flippers. That's actually from a pinball machine. Oh, yeah. They work. Sweet. They look nice and symmetrical. Oh, next thing is, I gotta make sure that they uh, don't move on me. And I didn't get the ball pop like perfectly resolved. But you know, since it's a weird two flipper orientation, it's not really as important. Most people aren't gonna flip from the upper flipper anyway before they trap up. They're gonna trap up. That's my thought. It's big game. Whoa. It's got the typical big game um, thing on the flipper where when you release the lower flipper from a trap, the upper flipper kind of bats at it and kind of gets it off trajectory. Let's see if it happens on this one too. Oh, not so much. Uh-oh. Oh, and I just adjusted the tilt bob as well. Oh yeah, as soon as I hit the spinner, it turns off right before. I'm not very familiar with the rules. Ooh. I know tournament strategy, it's pretty much sp lit spinner all day. Let's see if I can uh, actually hit that. Whoa, left spinner. Well, I gotta say, I'm very happy with the flippers so far. They feel solid. And I put on the new flipper cabinet buttons as well. So, what lights that spinner? Just turning on and off. I spelt big up top, so my 5000 light is lit. Get up there. Reverse spinner on the second spinner. Oh, getting closer. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Tight shot, tight shot. Oh my god. Well, I gotta say, that is a fantastic result. I'm very thrilled with that. And we'll take one peek here. While we're at it, at the paint job, it should be, for the most part, dry. That doesn't look too bad. I put a tiny bit right there so you could see, so I could see if it was a perfect match, but it's a little bit lighter. But that looks good. So I think that's it, boys and girls. I think my big game project is finally complete. I don't know what's left. I, I think I covered it all. So yeah, that's the last episode of Big Game Project. It had some trials. It had some tribulations. It was a fun adventure. 
Flippers is probably my least favorite. I'll do a bunch of play testing and see if any um, gremlins pop up, but with the new plastics and powder coating and new pop bumper caps and touched up drop targets and LEDs, this thing turned out great. So very thrilled with that. Love the orange flipper rubbers, all new bats, John G apron cards, just a beauty. And then the Pincinati cabinet decal with the stern coin inserts. Turned out great. Love it. I just need an orange beehive maybe. That would be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching the series. If you made it all the way through, congrats. And uh, next project on the list is already underway. Oh, yeah.